Hey guys, welcome back to Purely Walking. Your girl Ellie here. And I'm going to show you one of the sectors that I love the most here in Santo Domingo. It's an exclusive sector and I'm here to show you why it's my favorite and why I believe it's one of the best ones to live in here in Santo Domingo. So if you want to check out this sector along with me walking down the street, come along for the ride. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. So the street I'm walking on is um, a famous street here called Capitan Eugenio de Marchena. It has a lot of buildings and um, some houses, but as you can see, it's mostly living buildings. So it's mostly a residential area, residential street. It has uh, very few businesses, if any. And let me just show you around. So. Here we have Capitan Eugenio de Marchena and the corner of a street called Calle Primera, I believe it's called. So let's just turn the corner. By the way, back there, in, we were headed towards Maximo Gomez Avenue. So if you keep going straight on the Capitan Eugenio de Marchena, you're going to meet with um, the corner of Maximo Gomez. So here is a very traditional looking building. There are very traditional buildings here, but there are also very modern ones as well. As you can tell, look over here. They just built this one. It's one of my favorites, truly. I haven't been inside, but just looking on the outside, I can tell it's pretty impressive. Here in this area, they're actually building a lot of new buildings because there were a lot of houses and uh, these houses were being sold and the land was being used to build whole entire apartment buildings so if you're looking to invest in santo domingo la esperilla this sector is a very very good option all right so we are heading on calle primera towards pedro enrique ureñas avenue which, by the way, I have a video on Pedro Enrique Urañas Avenue on my channel if you want to check that out. Here is a beautiful house, one of the few houses that I told you were still in the neighborhood. As I said, they're being mostly sold for the land, and in the land they're building uh, different apartment buildings and high-rises. This is another beautiful house. I'm, I'm so sorry that all these houses have these walls around them. It's just for security reasons. Most people don't like their houses being exposed like that. So most um, nice houses here in Santo Domingo have these high walls around them. But you can just imagine people living in this house are rich, <laughs> obviously. And this apartment building, oh, it's one of my favorites. It's around, I don't know, 12 or 15 stories high maybe more anyway this is what santo domingo looks like in, on any given day here in a sector such as this one and here's another really nice entryway guarded by obviously the the walls Here is another beautiful corner building. Hola. Buenas, hola, ¿qué tal? So anyway, um, they're building here one in the corner as well where you see this aluminum material. They're building uh, another new building right there. And another one over there if you can see. So the reason I believe, I don't know if you can hear me with all this noise, I'll just explain, I was explaining the reason I believe this sector is one of my favorites, here is the, the one they're building. So we reached the corner of Pedro Enrique's Ureña Avenue and you might want to check out the video that I have on my channel on that avenue. 
um, here we just got into like a place where there are more businesses rather than residential areas. So here it is. This is a, a professional building, so it has a lot of um, offices. So, as I was saying, one of the reasons why I believe this sector is very exclusive is because of the fact that it doesn't have any barrios close by. So you know how you have the high-end neighborhoods and the low-end neighborhoods? Well, in the entire city of Santo Domingo, low-end neighborhoods usually collide with a nearby high-end neighborhood. So people prefer, if they're living in the high-end neighborhood, not to have any low-end neighborhoods nearby. But in here in Les Perillas, you barely have any low-end neighborhoods nearby. So that's an important thing to note. It is close, this sector is very close to like pharmacies. You have, you have a uh, Carol Pharmacy right here, right in the corner. You have restaurants back there. Parque Iberoamerica is like five minutes away on foot, so that's pretty interesting. Oh, here we have a street seller of coconut. So here we have a little medical area that I'm going to show you. Here we have um, a specialty building. It has like, you know, x-rays and you can get your mammograms and all that stuff. And you have a, a lab that you can get your blood drawn and all that stuff. It's called Amadita right here to your left, that pink sign. Right there. And finally, this building right in front of us is a clinic called UCE. Centro Medico UCE. So basically, this neighborhood is quite nice. You have hospitals nearby, I mean clinics. Clinics would be like a private clinic. You have pharmacies, you have shops, you have restaurants, and really, really nice houses. So right here, I'm getting to the corner of Maximo Gomez Avenue. Make sure you see in my channel the street, Pedro Enrique Ureña, which is this street right here. I actually recorded the entire thing. Um, so I'm gonna actually link that below if you're interested. All right, so we are headed towards Maximo Gomez Avenue, if you can see. Let's just check out, this is what Centro Medico Usa looks like. There's an emergency section. As you can tell, there are a lot of street vendors here. Hola. Ustedes que vende aquí? ¿Qué que vende aquí? ¿Cómo está? Usted tiene mucho tiempo aquí vendiendo. ¿En serio? Y y en realidad se se vive de eso bien. Bueno, eh, anteriormente sí, pero ya como viví, viví de sí. eso. Sí, ¿no? y usted lo hace el tiempo sí, completo. Solamente para la comida, estrictamente, pero sin ningún otro compromiso. Ya. Ok, ok. Antes, sí. Ah, antes, bueno. Sí. Pues muchas gracias. Bye bye. Alright, so that he was nice. He was telling us that basically, um, he was selling here, he's been selling here for many, many years. And uh, before he used to get a lot of money out of it, but now not so much. The people here are quite nice, actually. So if you're wondering what people are like, look, there's a cafeteria and an ice cream place. So anyway, I was saying that people are quite nice here. So if you're coming to DR and you're wondering what people are like, most people are very, very nice. So. Don't be afraid to mingle. People, Dominicans love to mingle and talk, have small talk with strangers and whatnot. At least most of them do. 
So here we reached the corner of Maximo Gomez Avenue. This is one of the main avenues. I also have a video on this entire avenue on my channel if you want to check that out. Oh look, little plants right here in the corner. That's pretty. I'm pretty sure they're selling them. Hola. So here are more street vendors. They're selling more stuff. Anyway, this is Maximo Gomez Avenue. This is the Ministry of Higher Education. This right here is the National Theater. There are a lot of street vendors here on this corner. I'm guessing it's because of the hospital and because there's a university right up the street. So as you can tell, this street is pretty busy. And this is basically the limit of La Esperilla sector. Something, something I did forget to say is that right here, there's the entrance to um, a subway station. So right here, you can take the subway and you know you can transfer off to any of the other stations of the subway right in front of the National Theater. That's important. And I found this random drum playing person across the street. I don't know if you can see him right there. He's right there playing the drums. So that's also cool. There's the, the subway station right there. So I think I'm going to leave you guys here with this view. And I hope you guys enjoyed this mini tour of a little bit of La Esperilla Sector in Santo Domingo, Dominican Republic. I'll see you guys in my next video. I hope you subscribe for more videos like this and hit that like button for more. I'll see you guys later. Bye!